Welcome to this game. As you can tell, I'm playing Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator. We're going to do a new game. Yes. Because <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Obviously. That's obviously why. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere, Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. That kid is disturbing. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business, but there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Mm -hmm. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things you on sale die. comes with a certain amount of risk. Oh, I know. I'm Aside from die. the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Nice. Okay. Fun. Anyway, before all this, do I only get to play the pizza thing the first time I open the game? Because that sucks, because then you won't get to see it. Maybe I'll cut it out of the other video. There won't be game audio, but you'll still be able to see it, which is okay, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, so I already saw all that. It's all crazy. And I already know it's all a lie. This isn't just some simple game. It's actually like the sixth game. Like the actual Final Fantasy Freddy's game. Where there's a bunch of scary stuff happening and I'm not prepared. Because like I said, I already recorded a video. And I died almost immediately upon playing the game. So, I guess we'll get started now. I'm ready. Let's get started. Let's see how much cash you oh, had yeah. left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. Oh, On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Audio where I have to like 
stuff. I assume you guys have already seen other people do this, so I'll probably cut that in at some point, but there won't be audio in it. So, sorry, but you'll get to see the reaction, or hear the reaction of me talking. So, yeah. Anyway, let's do things. So, I need to buy some. And last time I bought a stage, but I don't have the animatronics, so there's not really much of a need for a stage quite yet. so it doesn't really matter. Although you guys don't know that I died, so shh. <laughs> your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs oh, comes out of petty hundred. cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. See, the only the money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the of equipment in your office. About it, now, on to other matters. Talking, so Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can yet. shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. I don't want coffee. I just want to do this. I don't like that noise. Let's go check this. I don't think there's anybody. That means we're at this way, right? about somebody murdering me yet because there's nobody there. I'm gonna turn on silent events because I'm scared. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was him. We did it try that last time, but I was Somebody there, right? I'm doing that right, right? Right? Correct? Maybe? Mm -hmm. By this time, I think I already died, so. I guess we're gonna go with it. 
It will not get too hot and you turn back on the thing. I believe that. But no, no, maybe. Maybe now I should turn back on the vent. Motion detector. Vent. Silent. Motion. I know I can only have one move on that vent. But. I'm gonna turn this off for a second. Just so I can breathe and not freak out for a minute, okay? So the power, so the heat still goes up even if the power's off, just slower again. No, it's not the same. <sighs> so, yes, scan. Does it have to be on for a second? Wait, what was that? What was that? Wait, what? Does it, wait, does it need to be on for a second more time? Or to work right? Maybe I'm freaking out over nothing. I'm gonna just start doing this and hope that nothing jump scares me, because that's what I think is gonna be the best way. Okay, 60 is as low as it'll go, so I'll turn that off until it goes back up to 80, and then I'll turn it back on. I think that's the best way, maybe? It still says that there's not really anybody doing anything, so... We good then? Was this supposed to be a lot easier than I made it? I have the- I have the oddest feeling that I'm gonna die soon. Am I doing this right? I didn't say there was anybody near me. I think that's what that means. Turn this. That. Open it off at 60. I thought this place was opened. Why is it so scary? Now what? Back? Oh, I can look off. Okay, Great job. It, it looks oh, like did. you're getting the hang of this. I died. So now I let's said, just focus on getting you through your first week. Okay. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Okay. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. <laughs> yeah, sure, thanks for the confidence. I feel like you're still secretly plotting. Are you kidding me? Is he? Maybe. I don't know. <sighs> Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job this isn't over day. just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Why? Things are, are found here quite there? often, and while we aren't sure why, what, what we do not know is that oh, they can be there. used for parts, which can mean oh, okay. a much needed revenue How boost I, before starting way. your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Uh, proceed. You have chosen to proceed with uh, the maintenance control. checklist. Remember, use your company-issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. Okay. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. So I just have to see if it moves or does anything? I don't see anything. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Boom. Begin.
Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Again, I didn't see anything. Begin audio prompt in three. Oh shit. Two. It's closer. One. Document results. You move closer, right? I'm not crazy, right? What is that? Why did it all flicker? He did move. steadily, but it's not doing anything while I'm looking at it. It was closer though. I did. I documented my results. I know the truth. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Is it supposed to move while it's playing? Yeah, it is. results. You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. Thanks for letting me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. I'm not okay with that. See how that goes before 
I stop this because, yeah, <laughs> reasons. So it seems like ordering the stuff takes less time than freaking the shit. As you can see, because advertising seems to do more maintenance. Did I even do anything for maintenance last time? Okay, I shouldn't dilly dally. Okay, so we're gonna continue with the thing of when it gets to 60, turn off the thing. Quit. Um. Oh god, what the fuck? Together again! What even happened? What the fuck? And lots of fun. 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 No. Not fun. out I wouldn't have had as much money but he wouldn't have been there is that what that is so if I would have not salvaged that dude um Funtime Freddy the weird messed up Funtime Freddy then I wouldn't have died because he wouldn't be here but I wouldn't have as much money is that how that works I think that's how it works it doesn't say anybody's here though that's off If I click away, it stops it, right? Oh god. What? 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 A little a little thingy popped up. I hear that. So let's see. Have I gone? Motion detector, yes. So audio, let's put an audio thing over here. We're gonna think we're gonna test this out and see if it does the thing. Then if it doesn't, go on dead. So it doesn't really matter. Does that work? I don't see him. So does the audio work then? So play the audio here. Oh! What? What is that doing? Where is he? Oh, so if I keep the audio over here. Maybe that's what it is. Where's that? Okay, that again. Together again! <laughs> okay, so I don't know how to do that. <laughs> if you guys have tips for me, leave them down below. Uh -huh. and that's all I'm gonna do for now thanks for watching guys <laughs> uh, shut up with your lots of fun stuff so that's this I'll probably play more if you want me to play more tell me but I'll probably play it anyway so because nobody have comments on these videos anyway and if you have tips because I have no idea what I'm doing the second, the second night so I don't know what I'm supposed to do about Funtime Freddy. So, anyway, thanks for watching this video. <laughs>